All right, coming to you live from Las Vegas in VMworld. I'm here with Marius Chorta. Marius, how are you? I'm great. How are you today? I'm doing well. So you lead VMware's code uh, project. Can you tell us what it is? First, what's the real name? So it's VMware Code. You got it right. Okay. Um, it's a program that uh, was just recently started, coming out of the idea that as we move more into the cloud um, and being that cloud applications are very much in tune with developers and developers are pushing kind of that movement, you know, what does that mean for companies like VMware, which traditionally was more in a private cloud? Um, we start thinking and set a table and says like, okay, what are sort of the tools and methodologies developers need today to work with a sysadmin to be even more productive and, and automate things and, you know, what are those discussions? And it was pretty clear that in order to have that conversation, we need to start a program that really focuses in exploring um, developers and what developers' needs are inside the data center. So now, do you do this on specific platforms? For example, does this have to do with Photon or Cloud Foundry, or is it a variety of things? It's definitely a variety of things. It's, it's definitely a VMware point of view uh, to developers and developer tools. Uh, so we touch upon everything a developer currently is interested in. So you mentioned Cloud Foundry. Um, that's where Photon Platform is tied in. Photon Platform is. Um, a tool set for deploying applications uh, with Cloud Foundry, uh, Replit Deployment, but we also work with OpenStack and VIO. Uh, they have a large developer community. Um, we also look at containers, Kubernetes uh, is, is a part of discussion, um, but also traditional uh, sort of cross developer, I would say, uh, sysadmins that are coding these days, mm -hmm. infrastructure as a code being a topic. Uh, power CLIs, APIs, what are the APIs that VMware is bringing out in order to connect all those things. So it's a variety of topics um, that all now involved a little bit around code. And now open source is of course the next piece that we, we are going to touch up on. Yeah, and that's what I was going to ask. So yep. in, the, in the areas like vSphere or um, bigger combinations like um, Evo SDDC, where does this does it play in? Are, are those areas that you're focusing on? I, I'm not, but as VMware is going to start focusing on, I, I will obviously try to uh, convey or have the conversations with the community. Uh, I think open source is incredibly important uh, because developers uh, have a choice today of, of trying to choose how to actually deploy their applications and, and, and open source is a really easy way into doing the sort of development uh, or getting your applications out. Uh, VMware now is looking into what are the right open source projects either to support, so being part of them, which is something we very much uh, push because I'd rather be part of the community and starting your own project, but as well, you know, what open source products should we start to allow the developers to connect better to tools like vSphere's and the SDDC sort of story. So just to end with, if I'm a developer out there, how do I get involved? What are some of the ways? So uh, I would just start uh, coming to VMware Code, signing up, and the first thing that we do is send you a Slack invite. Um, most of our conversation, I would say 80% of the conversation are just happening on Slack. We have 750 members there, all very, very active, distributed over like 32 something channels. Uh, and you come in and you start kind of like asking questions and you will see that you're quickly going to get an answer and before you know it you're going to participate in, in a project that uh, is on our Slack channel and talk directly with your peers as well as with the engineering teams at VMware. Awesome. Marius Chorta, thank you so much. Thank you.